is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have some new wwe elite figure images for you guys and it is nxt series 4 that will be target exclusive and these images just released. I saw them on Instagram. My boy Cody from Steinsenberg Customs posted them. Um, I don't think he has credit for the uh, for the uh, the pictures here, but let's go ahead and just get into them because uh, they're absolutely sick, nasty. All right, guys. So the first figure that we're looking at is the NXT Series 4 Alistair Black Elite, and it looks absolutely amazing. The True Effects head scan looks so good. The detail it looks just like Alistair Black. All of his tattoos are here. We get his entrance vest. The only gripe that I could possibly have is that he does have the smaller torso, the Daniel Bryan style. I would prefer maybe Bo Dallas or uh, Road Dog torso for him, but he still looks incredible. He's got all his tattoos on there. I believe he is missing two of his rib tattoos, but I think this will work. I don't think anybody's going to complain because he has most of his tattoos there, and it's a great head scan, and this is pretty much a perfect figure. I mean, the, the torso could be better, like I said, but I don't think anybody's going to do too much harm to it. You know, guys like this, Daniel Bryan, Adam Cole, that are sort of similar in torso build, um, are pretty much always given the Daniel Bryan, which is sort of unfortunate. I think Bo Dallas would have fit better, like I said, but this figure looks amazing. Cannot wait for it. It's going to be one of the figures of the year, hands down. The next figure in the set, guys, is one of Monday Night Raw's biggest attractions of 2018. We have Drew McIntyre looking beautiful, and this is great because it's already updated. You know, the trunks stay the same. He really hasn't changed anything about his attire, his entrance. He looks great. I think that the torso may be a bit big, you know. I mean, I know he's jacked, but I think the figure is something about the proportions is off. The head scan looks pretty good. It looks better than it did at Comic-Con or whatever we saw it the first time, but I'm excited for this figure. I'm going to grab it anyways, and I'm excited to see what it looks like up next to my current Drew McIntyre custom that I got from BEW. I think it's going to be a very interesting review when we get to compare the two. But again, this is part of the series. So Aleister Black and Drew McIntyre are two huge draws to the series. You know, I think that these two are easily going to be probably the most sought after out of the set. I could be wrong, but I think that is probably it. Uh, you know, Drew McIntyre's on the main roster and Aleister Black could be coming on his way up any day now. So I mean, uh, those two are probably going to be the most attractive, and they're probably the best-looking figures, but uh, cannot wait to get this Drew McIntyre. Next up, guys, we do have Hideo Atami's first Elite, and this is crazy. I feel like we have been missing a Hideo Atami for a long, long time. This is way overdue. Um, here, it looks like the entrance jacket is rubber. I could have sworn that it was cloth when they showed it off. I'm pretty sure that's rubber. Doesn't it look rubber? I mean, I, I could have sworn this thing was cloth when we saw it the first time. Maybe I'm just confused or something, but I thought in other pictures that it was cloth. However, the figure does look great. I think the body choices, the head scan, the attire. I think everything looks great here. I'm very excited for this. Very excited to finally add a, a, an elite Hideo Itami. You know, we've gotten, I think, two or three basics before this, and now we can finally complete it with his elite figure. So Hideo Itami is looking fresh. Can't wait to add him to the set, and we're moving on to the next figure in this incredible Series 4. And the next one up is Killian Dane, guys, from Sanity. He looks insane. I think he has a great head scan. I think the proportions is great. I love the body mold that they chose for him here. Cannot wait to see what he looks like in full entrance gear up next to the Elite 65 Eric Young, the Elite 66 Nikki Cross, and the Elite 66 Alexander Wolf. I think when you get all of these guys in their gear um, all together up next to each other, it's going to be a sight to see, and that's probably the thing that I'm most excited for with this figure. Killian Dane, I think he proved a lot when he was in NXT running around with Sanity, especially in War Games. Him and Alexander Wolf really impressed me a lot. I wasn't too big of fans of them. Uh, before that, I thought they were just plain Jane, but they, they showed me a lot, and I became big fans of them after that matchup at War Games. So I'm excited for this figure. Can't wait to again get him, get him up next to Sanity, and he is a great standalone figure by himself. Last but not least, guys, we do have the last figure in this set of Series 4 NXT TakeOver Target Exclusive, and it is Ruby Riot, the only women's figure in this set, and it looks great. I love the tattoo work, much like Alex, Alistair Black. I think she looks incredible. I know that Brad's going to be excited to add her to the collection. She does come with her entrance vest. I feel like all of these guys are missing accessories. It's kind of like, you know, they just give us all their entrance coats. Literally every figure in the series... Um, is just the figure itself and then their entrance jacket. I wish we could have got some title ch uh, or some title belts or I don't know some other accessories would have been nice. I guess you know with uh, Drew Bl uh, Drew Black with Drew McIntyre and Alistair Black we could have gotten the NXT Championship with Hideo Itami. They could have given us the cloth hoodie that could have made up for the rubber if that is indeed rubber with Ruby Riot. I guess maybe a microphone. I don't know, guys. It's just it just seems like we're not getting a lot of accessories here. 
But this set does look incredible. I'm very happy and excited for all of the figures here. I'm going to be buying the full set. I do believe that the release date for these was supposed to be January 2019. So if that is true, then it is already January 2019. So they should be hitting Target anytime soon. And uh, I feel like my Target never got the last series. So I, I'm kind of worried about finding these. Hopefully they're not as difficult to find. I remember Series 1 and 2 being an absolute headache. And um, I don't know, it's not looking good, especially for uh, international collectors. I know that it's a headache for you guys. You got to pay out of the wazoo just for, you know, these exclusives like Alistair Black. Everybody wants that for their shows and their everything, and it makes it really difficult. But that's all the figure images and news I have for you guys today. Again, be on the lookout. Tons of new stuff hitting retail now that 2019 is upon us, guys. Be on the lookout. Go on your toy hunts and find these things. And if you find them, hit me up because I'm going to be wanting to buy a set. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.